Morris Glidesman and I'm the proud owner of a huge and very powerful imagination just like yours and mine got big and strong through the years of fun I've had reading. I'm Anthony Brown, I'm a writer and illustrator, I happen to be the Children's Laureate in Britain at the moment and I'm a great promoter of reading. I think uh, learning to read is the most, one of the most important things we can ever do. More than just important, it's incredibly enjoyable. If you can get into reading, it's one of the most enjoyable things you'll ever do. And of course, we all need to read, not just, in my case, not just uh, words, but pictures too. I'm very much in favour of promoting picture books and getting people to read picture books at an older and older age. I think sometimes children are dragged away from picture books too early, and I think that's one of the problems with, with getting people to learn to read, because reading has got to be enjoyable, and picture books are incredibly enjoyable. Okay, okay I'm Lynn Truss, and I've written some novels, and I've written a book about punctuation, and um, I read all my life. Tony Buzan, I am the inventor of Mind Maps and I am the author of 121 books on the brain and learning. And reading is one of the best ways to, if you like, get into a gymnasium for your mind. Reading helps your imagination, it helps your creativity, it helps your memory, it helps your learning, and it's fun. So learn to read, learn to speed read, learn to mind map, learn to remember, and read as much as you can wherever you can. Tony Bazan, over and out. What's the work you have here? I read a book that I wrote from the book of the Sia to the Tibet, with the book of the Sia to the Tibet, and it's a book of 46 books. It was published on the way of Nadi Jindal Adabi. And for the reason, I didn't want to read these books, especially when the books are published. استطاع الهرب من حقيبة أحد التلاميذ المسالة أو المهملين وانطلق في رحلة في هربه يروي ما يشاهده أثناء أثناء هربه وهذا المدخل لهذه المجموعة القصصية أعتقد أنني أستطيع من خلاله أن أكتب عدة سلاسل أو عدة مجموعات لكن يبدو أن الرواية أو كتابة الرواية هي التي تسيدت أثناء كتاباتي لكن لكون هذا المشروع مشروع الطفل وهو عالم جميل ورائع أتمنى أن أعود لمواصلة الهرب مع القلم لكتابة حكايات الطفل Hello, my name's Roger McGough, and I was born in Liverpool, in England, and I'm a poet, and I write for adults, for children. And um, if I hadn't been able to read when I was young, I've never had the lifestyle that I've been able to have uh, books to open up the world for me, and I hope will for you too. This is fun. If you can project a little though, because okay. it's not a very good microphone. Yeah. Okay? Hi, this is Yusuf at the Emirates Airline Festival of Literature. I'm here with my book Salam, and I, I would just like to tell you to absolutely um, read more. And I cannot imagine uh, a day or a moment without uh, reading something. And use your library, which is the best place, and let's build it more. Thank you all. The author of The Demon Headmaster, and I love libraries because every time I go into a library, I feel as though I'm exploring. I know I'm going to find books about things that I know nothing about and exciting stories. And I gather that research shows that people who read a lot do better in later life, but that's not why I read. I read because I love it. If you could introduce yourself first. Hi, I'm Charlie Hickson. A lot of people say, why should you read a book? And they say, well, it's educational, you can learn a lot, you can broaden your mind, it'll help you with your studies. But for me, 
the main reason to read is because it's just great fun. I've had such a lot of entertainment over my life from reading books. I can't imagine what it would have been like if, like if I couldn't have read books. So that's all it is. It's about the most fun you can have. Kedet el Hamisi, Kedet el Masri. عايز اقول لكم القرايه هي اللي بتعمل بني ادم هي اللي بتعمل بطل من غير قرايه مش هنفهم الدنيا مش هنفهم نفسنا مش هنفهم صحابنا مش هنفهم كمان احنا بنحب نعمل ايه بطل القرايه هي البدايه عشان خاطر كل حاجه في الدنيا تبقى صح Introduce yourself first and then say something. Thank you. Hello, I'm uh, the heavily bearded Philip Arda. Why is reading important? Because it just opens your whole world up. Once you read and you find out the secret of books, it makes everything available to you. It fires off areas of the brain that you didn't know you had. You may not even know you had a brain until you read a book. And you can find out facts, you can enter magical worlds, it snaps your winner. And once you're hooked reading, you'll read for the rest of your life, and it just puts you straight, uh, straight ahead of all the books. So all the best and read. Hi, I'm Tony Parsons. I'm here at the uh, Dubai Literary Festival. And I'd just like to say a few words why reading is the most important thing in the world. Stories and books are how we understand ourselves, how we understand the universe, and how we understand our place in it. So books are for everyone. Books are one of the great joys of life. And if you don't love reading, you're missing out on one of the great pleasures of being alive on this little blue planet. So read more. It'll, you'll be glad you did. 